Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I am Casey. And today, these here are the three patterns that I completed from the kit edition from Potomac Beads. And this is the ornament that I designed myself from the treasure edition. If you are interested in the Potomac Bead Boxes, I will have all the information in the description box below. I definitely think you should go check them out. Not only do they have amazing bead boxes, they also have an amazing website. And it has just about anything you can need for the jewelry making hobby. So if you would like to see how this ornament right here came about and what my thoughts are on the three patterns that came in the kit edition this month, then stay tuned. I'm going to start with the tools that I'll be using. I have one set of cutters, one set of chain nose pliers, and one thread zap tube. And I want to briefly mention my tool set. It is the Casual Comfort tool set. And as the name suggests, these are the most comfortable tools that I have found. They are very high quality, very well made. And the biggest thing for me is the size. And I think that leads to the comfort. They just seem to be made for adult size hands. A lot of times jewelry making tools will look like this, just a little bit smaller. You can see the handles are a little bit smaller as well. And ever since I found these tools, I just, I can't imagine using anything else. So I will have these tools linked down below along with everything that I use that did not come from the bead box. So as you can see, I have already started. I made the first four strands here, the fringe, and I'm going to be adding one more and they're all done the exact same way. And of course, this is the ornament cutout, the laser cutout from the treasure edition. I am also using the bead mix that came in the box. It was a pretty big mix. I have quite a bit left, even after making this project. I am also using the 11-0 bright red Miyuki seed beads that came in the box. And I will be using eight pound Fireline in the color Crystal, which is this white color. And I always get the 125 yards just because I go through it so quickly. I'm also using a size 10 beading needle and I have already put some thread on it. Right now I probably have about two feet because I'm just doing the last one. I'm gonna dump out some of the red seed beads and I wanna show the ones that I have on here, they're all independent of each other. As of right now, they are not connected. So they are all separate. And I'm going to be adding one more right here so the pattern is symmetrical. The two on the outside are going to be the same, the next two are the same, and then this is the center one. So the first thing I need to do is pick up 15 of these 11 seed beads. And I'm going to make the loop around the bottom right here. I'm going to push them down to the bottom of the string. And you just need enough off of the end to make a knot. And I want to make sure I put that in the right spot. So now that I have it up here around it, I'm going to tie it in a knot. And one more. And here's where I use my chain nose pliers. I make that knot as tight as I can, just like that. I like to hold it with the pliers and pull it that way. And that way it becomes a complete circle around the bottom of the ornament. And I'm going to take my cutters and cut off the tail. Then I'm going to take my thread zap and take down the end there. Just like that. So the pattern that I have is just like this one here that's all green except for the seed beads. Simple back and forth. So here's the pattern. At the very top I have three of the seed beads and then one and then in between each one of the beads and the whole thing there's only going to be two. So we're going to repeat this right here three more times. So there is the whole strand right there. And on the end, as you can see, on the end of each one of these, I have the red, a red dagger that also came in the mix. I'm going to pick up three of the 11 O's, put on the dagger, and then pick up three more, just like that. So now I'm going to push this down. And when I go back up, I'm going to skip these six 11 O's and the dagger, and I'm going to go back through all of the strand. So start here at the green one at the bottom, 
and then just go back through the whole strand. So just like that, I try to go through as many as I can at a time. And then you can kind of pull it snug, just hold on to the beads, pull it up. And when I get back up to the top, right now I'm just coming out of those top three that I added at the top of the strand, just like that. And I want to go back around the loop here, the circle, just to reinforce it here at the top. So I'm gonna go through as many as I can get through at a time and go all the way around. And here is how I tied it off. So I just went around the loop. I'm gonna go back down, but not very far, just to either the first or second large bead. Just, and I wanna give it a solid tug so it's nice and you know straight with no gaps. And then I'm gonna tie a knot right here. So put it around, put it through the loop, and then make sure it's in the right spot and tie it off. And then one more time, nice and snug. And then I'm gonna take my cutters and cut it. And I'm gonna take my thread zap again And there we have the pattern. So as you can see, pretty simple to add each one of the strands. And of course the daggers that are just a little bit off. I like that kind of hanging at different lengths there at the bottom. So now we're gonna add one more embellishment across the top so that they stay spread out. Because if you just hold it up now, they kind of bunch up together when they hang. So I wanna put a little spacer bead and I'm gonna use these white kind of saucer beads that came in the box as space in between. So I'm gonna tie the string on right here on the end, make a knot, do it one more time, and then I'm going to get my cutters, cut off the tail, thread zap, burn off that little nub. And then from the point where you tied it off, you wanna go back up through and I'm going to be coming out the second bead. So if you can see it, there's three beads here at the top of each one. So I wanna come out the middle one. And I'm gonna pick up a 11-0, a saucer bead, and an 11-0. And then I'm coming out of the top of this 11-0, so I'm gonna go down the middle 11-0 in the next one, just like that, and then pull it. So that gives it just a space, little space so that they kind of hang apart. So now we're gonna go through a couple different times. Again, 11-0 saucer, 11-0. Now I'm coming out the bottom. So I'm gonna go from the bottom into the next one, get it again. So I'm coming out the top. So I'm gonna come through the top of this next one. And the last one. So there it is right there. That's the first time through. So now we're going to go back through them all, okay? So we're coming out of the 11-0. We're just gonna go back through that set. And we're gonna go the opposite way through all the 11-0s. So just like that, go through the next one. All right, we're on the last one here. So just like that, spaced out nicely. And now I'm gonna go through the opposite way on this last one. And just for a little security, I'm gonna go around this last loop again. So there we go on that last one, going through it again, tighten it up just a little bit. And then again, I went down and off of this last one here, I'm gonna make a knot and do it again through the loop. Make the last knot, grab the cutters, cut it, grab the threads up. And there you go. And here is the final ornament. Of course, I just have to add a hook to the top of it. I think this turned out very festive, absolutely beautiful. So now I will review the projects in the kit edition. So the first one I will review are the elegant beaded beads. And of course, the beads were the project here and they put them on this memory wire bracelet. And here is mine. So the memory wire bracelet itself was very quick, very simple. And here are the beaded beads. So we'll start with this long one. 
this a little bit longer, kind of elongated. Very intricate, but very, very simple. I was able to complete it without using the video version, just from the descriptions here in the pattern. And then here is the other one. There was two different beaded beads in the pattern. Very beautiful. And believe it or not, even though they look so different, they were made quite similarly. In the description, it talked about how the base for these beaded beads is the right angle weave and how you can kind of make it your own with pretty much any style of beads. But I would say that this one was fairly simple and pretty quick to complete. The second one I did was the Jingle Bell Beaded Ornament. So of course, this was a different beaded ornament. And here is mine. Again, this was very, very simple. It was a little bit longer to finish because of course each one of these had to be placed in there one at a time, but it wasn't difficult at all. And then of course there was a kind of the fringe along the outside, but again, very simple, fairly quick to complete this one. That's what the back looks like for me with the strings, but of course very beautiful. Just kind of add a hook to the top. I think I'm going to actually go put this on my tree right after this video. I did pull up the video version of this one just for the fringe. The beads on the inside were pretty self-explanatory, but the fringe, I had some questions about how, you know, I was a little confused on how to put this along the side, but once I saw it, it was very quick. But that's what I love about the video version. It adds just a little extra to help you. So this is the second one. On to the last one. The last one is the Knight in the Cathedral Necklace. At least this is the last one that I did. And here is mine. Here is the pendant. And there are a few issues I have with it. I do think it is very beautiful. I Aesthetically, I like the way that it looks. The, I like the fringe and everything. I absolutely needed the video version of this one. I do think that stone in the middle is very nice. But the design on the side it just feels a little bit loose to me and I was trying I went you know secured it went through it a couple times but it doesn't feel as secure as some of the other patterns it is very beautiful and that stone is definitely not coming out so it's not like it's that loose it's just not as I guess tight as some of the other patterns that's what it looks like on the back and this was another issue that I had with it there's just a little bit too much of the back of the stone exposed. I feel like that could have been filled in a little bit with different beads. And then the final issue I had with it was the actual necklace itself. Now the pattern was for the necklace, like the whole necklace, the pendant necklace and everything. But I wasn't given near enough of these blue, bluish gray seed beads to actually do the necklace. In the video version, they used the exact same seed beads to do the necklace part of it. But since I only had a very few left, I mean, maybe I would have been able to do a couple sections. I obviously knew I couldn't use those and I didn't have that in my stash. So I used some clear 11-0 seed beads because I didn't really have a different blue like this that kind of complemented it. But I thought these clear ones looked nice. And I did the same pattern that they did with the small round beads and then the 80 seed bead every 20 11 O's. So I did like that design. And then of course the clasp. So this one was a little bit more challenging for me. It wasn't difficult, but it wasn't as easy as the other ones this time. But I do like the way that it turned out. All right, so now I'm going to try to get everything on the screen. So here is everything that came in the December 2023 Potomac bead boxes. And this is, of course, the kit edition and the treasure edition, the finished projects that I completed. And I really do love this fringe on this ornament. I think that that bead mix, that kind of holiday bead mix that came in the treasure edition was just so beautiful. And I, I just think this turned out so, so nice. And I also really love these beaded beads and I feel very strongly that I'll be making some more of these and then kind of using this design as inspiration to kind of create some of my own. 
So if you like this video and you want to see other videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a like. Leave a comment. I absolutely love reading my comments. You guys are so, so kind. And I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.